All right, here we go. Question number 10 from our 1316 homework number four in my lab math. Again, they want us to establish the identity. And here the first step says to write the left side in terms of sine and cosine. So if we, if we look at what they want me to fill in here, notice the cosine they already brought down. We're going to have to convert the trig functions inside the parentheses into sine and cosine, okay? So what we know is, we know that using a quotient identity, cotangent is cosine over sine. Cotangent is cosine theta over sine theta. And tangent theta, again, using a quotient identity, tangent is sine theta over cosine theta. So that is what they want me to input in the first box here, okay? So that should be cosine theta over sine theta plus sine theta over cosine theta. Bam. All right. First step done. Simplify the expression inside the parentheses from the previous step and write the result in terms of sine and cosine. All right. So the only way that I can simplify this expression inside is to add the two fractions together. Okay. Now think with me. If I want to add two fractions together, what do I have to have? That's right, I have to have a common denominator, okay? So these denominators are different. So the common denominator is going to be sine theta, cosine theta. It's going to require both of them for the common denominator. Okay, so for my first fraction, notice that for sine theta, I gave it a cosine. If I give it to the bottom, I have to give it to the top. So that's going to be cosine theta times cosine theta, which will be cosine squared theta, okay? And then for the other fraction, using the common denominator, sine theta, cosine theta, for this denominator, it had cosine. I gave it a sign. <clears throat> if I give it to the bottom, I have to give it to the top. So that numerator will be sine theta times sine theta, which will simplify to sine squared theta, okay? And then outside we have our cosine theta. Okay, now, now that I have a common denominator, I can now go ahead and add these fractions together, and that's going to be cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta all over the common denominator sine theta cosine theta and so that should be what they want inside the parentheses i think they're going to want this in the parentheses so let's see here sometimes it's kind of hard to tell exactly how much simplification they want you to do Like, do they want me to go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem now at the same time? I'm not sure. So I'm going to assume that they want me to leave it like this in terms of sine and cosine. And you know what happens when you assume things. Sometimes when you assume, well, you know what that means. Let's see if I'm right. Duh. See? They actually wanted me to go ahead and use the Pythagorean identity and simplify this further, okay? So, to show that step, right here, I know that anytime I have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, the Pythagorean identity I'm referring to is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. That's a Pythagorean identity that you should know. 
So I can replace sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta with one because that's what it's equal to. So they did actually want me to simplify that further. So that reduced fraction will be one over sine theta, cosine theta, and then the cosine theta outside. Mm, and this sucks because I typed all that stuff in when really all they wanted was one. Hard to tell how much they want you to do there. Simplify the expression from the previous step and write the result in terms of sine theta. All right. So now if I look at this, cosine theta as a fraction would be cosine over 1. Here this indicates multiplication. So I have a cosine in the top and a cosine in the bottom. Those will cancel. And I'll be left with 1 over sine theta. So I believe what they want here is 1 over sine theta. And then it says the fraction from the previous step can then be simpl simplified to cosecant theta using, and you have to know what the identity is called, okay? <clears throat> so cosecant is equal to 1 over sine. That is a reciprocal identity, okay? It's not a Pythagorean identity because those have squareds. Uh, not the cancellation property. See where we canceled the cosines? Maybe that's the cancellation property. It's definitely not an even odd property. And a quotient identity is referring to tangent or cotangent expressed in terms of sine and cosine. So it's not a quotient. So it has to be a reciprocal identity. And there you go. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.